Welcome back to Daily Driven Vintage. This is how you know if someone is a true car person. They've already got their other project lined up before the dust has settled on their last one. That's right, rat rod's getting parked for a little bit and the next project's coming in. All I'm waiting for on the rat rod is some title work and some paperwork and then she'll be out on the road ripping tires and taking names. But first, before we get the next project in here, also, my shop isn't even clean yet either. It's a complete and utter disaster, but the show must go on. Next project's coming in. The shop will get cleaned in the meantime, somewhere in there, as best as it can get cleaned. First, though, I've got a beef with the Kiwis out there. So if you're from New Zealand, listen up. You all have the most delicious soda on planet Earth, LNP, and I freaking love it. I also started a tradition with this build where I got two cans off of Amazon. I drank one when I started the project and I drank another one when I ended the project and I nailed the last one right up here on the wall. But I cannot find it anywhere. So if you're from New Zealand and you got the hookup on LNP or, or, or this is a stretch, if you're LNP and you're watching this video, and you want to sponsor someone, hit me up. Hit me up. I'm interested in LNP sponsorship. I'll be your United States distributor. <laughs> Let's get the rat rod moved out. Go check out the next project. Everybody with their Lamborghinis bragging about their cold startup, listen to some good old fashioned American hot rod cold startup. What do you think? Lamborghini or American Muscle? But, before we take the rat rod over, we've got a little bit of TLC to do. We gotta bust out the secret weapon for the next project. Follow me. It's the only thing that's gonna make this next project happen. Cause she's a little rough. And heavy. <laughs> Gotta set you guys down for this. Most people don't know that a rat run is the ultimate, ultimate vehicle restoration project car. It's like a shop truck on steroids right here. Especially when you don't have your back seats yet. Losing you guys. Tipping over. Can't have that. Secret weapons in. Let's go. Next project's right over there. And we're gonna need the secret weapon for it, for sure. It's like a, a briefcase. A magic briefcase right here. Next project is a 2007 Dodge Ram 2500. 5.9 common rail Cummins with, this is the kicker, six speed manual. So it's gonna be millennial proof. Not a single millennial will be able to steal this guy. Or Gen Z. <laughs> I can drive stick. I might burn up a clutch or two. So as you can see, it's been in a slight 
fender bender, I would say. Really not noticeable from certain angles that it was in an accident. That angle right there. Just that angle. <laughs> but this guy, this, this brief cape of magic, it's going to make it all happen. Look at that. We got pump rams. We've got wedges. We've got everything you could think of right there in that briefcase of magic. So we're going to pop all these dents out of this truck and you'll never even be to know, be able to know that this was in an accident. We'll be rolling coal in no time flat. But to get it to the shop, I think I need a little bit of more room in the driver's seat. Let's pop that up real fast. Begin the process of the body work. Maybe some new running boards too. But other than that, this, this beauty looks like it rolled off the lot. That's going to be the ticket to success. Well, it's definitely not standing down there where the bottom of it can shoot off and turn my reg legs into Swiss cheese. Go up here. I'm surprised that that doesn't just. Break your way. <laughs> Whew. Oh my gosh. It's the dangers. The dangers of body work. I got the door. This is why. That's why they call body work guys the gymnast of the automotive world. Because they can spend all day doing stuff like this. Positive. Positive. You'll see this at a body shop somewhere. What do you think? Actually, I might not have been first. We do need to define one very important thing if we're going to continue doing this. What is the definition, or what do you all define as vintage? Is 2007 too new for you guys? Do you not define 2007 Dodge Ram 2500 as a vintage vehicle. What are your thoughts? Are we going way, way astray here on what vintage is? I actually looked up the definition of vintage and I was blown away. I always thought vintage would have a year mark on it or something along those lines. But listen to what the definition of vintage is. The first definition is a season's yield of grapes or wine from a vineyard. And the second part of that definition is especially a usually superior wine all or most of which comes from a singular year I thought that was fascinating but please 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 tell me in the comments what do you define as vintage if we're gonna be daily driven vintage we got to be true to our name which is what you guys think vintage means water coming in. Is there really? <laughs> yeah, it's coming Shit. coming in right off of this V here. You want a bucket? Nah. Why are you that. leaning down so far? But remember, I'm leaning down so far for safety. You gotta buckle up. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get in a rollover now. <laughs> What's wrong with the hood? Or the <laughs> Woo! Will it drive you back the door closed? Who <laughs> knows?
Good money on a car and this is what you get. <laughs>